welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at the formula that I call I am. It's a really easy triangle to remember with I at the top and am at the bottom. Really nice, easy way to remember this formula. Um, now you need to be able to manipulate this formula to either calculate the actual size or the magnification, but it's normally always the actual size of the cell that you act that you need to be able to calculate it. So the, the width or the length of the cell normally or a part of the nucleus or something like that. Now, the reason why we use the formula I am is because when we produce an image from an electron microscope, we cannot put a micrometer on that electron microscope in order to calibrate it to find out what the actual length or width of a cell or part of a cell would be. So we have to use this formula because from an electron microscope, you would probably know the magnification. Um, you probably know the image size because the image is what you've produced. Therefore, you can work out the actual length or width. So let's go through some examples. Before we get started, we need to be aware that we are going to be using here micrometers and nanometers for the majority of the time. And this is because obviously using an electron microscope, we are looking at very, very small parts of a cell. Um, because they are very small parts of a cell, it means that millimetres are far too big. So we've got to be looking at micrometers and nanometers. And you need to be able to convert between these different units. It is well worth giving it a practice and giving it a go before you do move on to some actual I am questions. So here's our first question. In this particular one, I'm trying to find out the actual width of the nucleus. So for the size of the image, the size of the image is what you actually calculate from your actual picture of the cell or in this case my nucleus using a ruler so here i put a ruler on my picture and it came out as 84 millimeters um so 84 millimeters we always measure in millimeters and not centimeters when we're doing i am 84 millimeters is the same as 84,000 micrometers now i'd always do my conversion into micrometers or nanometers at this stage because it makes it a little bit more easier when processing the results. To know if you need to put your answer into micrometers or nanometers, you need to have a look either in the question where it would specify, or it's used the term micrometers or nanometers before, or look at the answer line where sometimes it is given for you. If it's not on your answer line, you must make sure that you give a unit because you'll lose easy marks by not providing a unit. So in this particular case, I've got 84,000 micrometers, which has been converted from 84 millimetres, over my 9,600, and this would be provided in the exam as my magnification, which gives me 8.8 .8 micrometres. So quite a nice, easy one to start off with. Again, this is relatively quite easy. So I'm doing my actual size again. So I've got 83 millimetres being the width of this particular part of the cell. 83 millimetres times 1,000 gives me... 53,000 micrometers over my provided magnification, which is 3,500, which gives me 15 micrometers. Now, the slightly more complicated ones, um, here's an example of a, a, an exam question, involve a scale bar, which you can see here at the bottom. And I'm asked to calculate the actual length of structure C, which you can see here, the mitochondria. And it also gives me what units it wants as well, which is in micrometers. So for this particular question, my image image length, I can easily work that out with a ruler uh, to calculate the length of that cell, uh, sorry, the mitochondria in millimetres. It's the magnification that proves a little bit more difficult. So 15 millimetres is the actual uh, length of that mitochondria. But now I need to work out a magnification, and this is where the scale bar comes in. So the scale bar, the length of the actual scale bar there is 80 millimetres, which, which I measured with a ruler. 80 millimetres is equal to 80,000 micrometres. And I know that it, that, that bar there it rep represents 20 micrometres. So therefore, if I do 80,000 micrometres over the 20, that will give me a magnification of 4,000. And then I can plug that 4,000 magnification straight into my formula there to give me 15,000 micrometers. So the 15,000 that was taken from my actual image size using a ruler, measuring in millimeters and then converting to micrometers. I convert it to micrometers because it asks for micrometers as a unit here in my actual question. And then I calculated that 4,000 from that scale bar, which gives me 3.75. So guys, in an exam, make sure you specify what part of the formula you're using and always give units. Good 